Hey, how's it going, guys? Wanted to do a little review of the Radio Link, the the, the latest Radio Link uh, Premium HN RC8X transmitter. Um, I couldn't find very many reviews on it because it's it's so new. So I figured since I just got this uh, a couple days ago. I just go over a couple of things, uh, mo mostly mainly for the drag racers and the the speed runners, because um, I know I know a lot of you guys probably want to know if it has the features of the Futabas and the Fly Skies and Sandwas and whatnot, but it does come with the lanyard and it did come with the the new eight channel receiver. I already got it in one of my cars. Um, this tele telemetry cable, I don't use that. It does come with the option of using triple A's for the battery, or you can just throw a, a lipo battery up in there. But uh, <clears throat> comes in a nice box. It's got a real good feel, premium feel in the hand. It's light, but it feels, it doesn't feel toyish like the um, the RC6GS remote. Here's our power on button right here. Gotta press and hold it. And uh, you got your settings. <clears throat> the The manual for this thing is crazy. It's like 150 pages. So you just got to go through and see what, you know, you can find that online. But the biggest thing that I was really interested in was the racing part of the selections here. You got your steering curve and throttle curve, brake, steering speed, throttle speed, traction control, ABS, all that kind of good stuff. But um, for the, basically for the drag racers and the speed runners, the throttle speed, you can have it so that it's 100% all you on the control of the trigger or you could do two stage which is just a high low selection there and then you got your three point low medium and at the end of the the run kind of stuff to go through so it does have those features um, that most speed runners and drag racers want when you're trying to tune your ride uh, <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to get out and use it because now we got snow flying up here in the northeast so but it does uh, look good feel good um, I know guys were asking why it says like PS5 or PS4 on the back here but it's just the way they 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 numbered all of their buttons this one right here is PS2 and this is this is PS5 up here so they just numbered all their buttons with a P in front um, there's a little SD card up in here that actually it comes with the unit but SD cards right there um, you can actually do FPV with this thing. It, it's got a, it's got so many options. It's it's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really nice unit. I would say the only thing I I complain about is <clears throat> with the battery. I was using a couple of. Uh, 
2S um, batteries for the old one. This guy here, the, the old one. It's it's a way bigger area to to fit a battery. I was using this 1500 CNHL, and it will not fit in the U. It won't fit on the new one. So I got I just ordered a couple smaller lipos for it, but. That's about the only thing I got to say about it. Everything else seems to be pretty good. And once I get it out on the, on the street, we'll see what it can do. But for the guys that wanted to know whether or not it had those um, drag racing and, and speed running features, it does. Looks pretty good. No complaints here. Any questions, you can uh, reach out. But... Um, no complaints, looks good.